No, get out of here! No, my fish! They're eating my fish! Hello everybody, my name is Jared and welcome to Giant Red Gaming. Welcome to a game called Dredge. This is a game about being a boatman, a fisherman. But there's some weird stuff that happens. I played the demo ages ago and the full game's out and I really wanted to play it. I wasn't sure if I was going to do videos on it, but I think I'll do at least one and see what you guys think. So without further ado, let's dive straight into it. Yes, here we are, little tugboat. It's all about like salvage and fishing and stuff. Job listing, angler wanted. Oh, I'm on it. Look at us, we're so grizzled and experienced. I've never been surprised on the high seas. Oh, shite! <laughs> oh. Oh, did we, oh, we crashed. We crashed. A lighthouse atop a rocky crag. Huh. An island. A town. Ooh. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Ah, oh, welcome to Greater Maro. I must say quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jacket rocks along the bay. Why, yes, Mayor, I'm quite intimately um, familiar with those rocks, it would seem. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah, well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. So this is where it was meant to go. <laughs> we did make one heck of an entrance. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. Oh, I'm in your debt, aren't I? I'll let you get out of here to catch some fish. Get to work, you lazy sod. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Okay. Tab for information, cabin, pursuits, catch fish for the day. Met the mayor of Greater Marrow, who sent me out to catch some fish and find my bearings. Seems nice enough, warned me to get back before nightfall, though, said something about fog, bit dramatic. Why need to catch as much fish as I can before it gets dark, it would seem. Undock, let's do it. Oh my gosh, look at this cute little boat we get to be. Let's go fishing. We got a little light. Oh, how neat. Let's just turn that on. Here's some fish. Let's fish. Disturbed water. Disturbed water. Stocks high. Coastal. Okay. Fishing. Oh. Oh, we got to land in the green. Oh, I see. Oh, blue mackerel. We've caught the blue mackerel. Oh, we are fishermen indeed. Oh, this is nice. Oh, the stock goes down. So you can only fish certain spots for a certain amount before it's depleted. Ooh, what's that? trophy catch what does that mean maybe it's worth more it must be worth more if it's a trophy catch maybe it's just a record of size i don't know no this is depleted it's only 9 a.m and we've already depleted a fish area <laughs> next fish spot oh there's another little town over there how quaint oh there's so much there's so much i love it let us fish more let us let us give me f oh my i suck let me fish please <laughs> a cod ah oh. oh we can switch or we can rotate the fish oh my god help me <laughs> poor fish at my whim and will oh we're just filling up every little nick and cranny of my little boat with different fish we'll have it all full what are these longings are these eels i bet you I don't have the right equipment. Oh no. I can't have whatever it is. Ooh. Let's just fill the old hold up. Alright, I think we're quite full. I don't think we can fit anything unless there's like a one square sized fish, but let's just assume we're got all we can get. Let's head on back. Yeah, I think the sun's going down. What perfect timing. I am an expert fisherman. Um, dock. Let me dock. When you step onto the dock at Greater Marrow, the mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. 
As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel, yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. Oh. So to recap, you need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt and in return, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Uh, yeah, sure. I can do all of these things. Where do I sell the fish? Our local fishmonger will appraise and purchase what you catch. He's open all hours. He doesn't sleep. He is a machine. Off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. Oh, I will. Ship loan. $50? That's all? That's all I owe for an entire boat? Nice. Fishmonger. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around the downcast man behind the counter. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. Well, what happened to the other one? He... It takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for your fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more, too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different. But while you're still got a debt outstanding here, I suggest you work off paying it first. So let's see what you've got. Oh, I've got so many fish. So this one's worth $12, and these are not... Yeah, so it's worth a little bit more being a trophy, but not much, really. And these big old cons are $17 a piece. Man, I should be going for the big fish, clearly. But bigger fish take up more space, so it's like, I guess just get whatever you can. Sell all fish for $155. Nice. Some of that went to my dent, apparently. Uh, great. Happy day. Oh, good old mayor's back. The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store. He's apparently stalking me. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to ride for this town. His hand is out because he wants my money. Look here, I found this down by the docks. What? I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? What is it? Research part. Curious looking component could be used to develop new equipment, but would need some investigation at a dock first. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Okay. Gosh, so much to do. So many people to talk to. It's only 6 p 6 30 p.m all right shipwright as you walk into the yard you see a shipwright making repairs to the damaged hull she looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work huh. you must be the new fisherman i can make improvements to your vessel in the yard man you i'm not the business of doing favors around here payment is up front everything takes some time to install also if you take on any damage from the rocks or any damage at all i could patch it up mostly she shrugs and gestures forward the hull. She's currently attempting to repair a number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. So plan ahead. Oh my goodness! Uh, so we've got some rods, we've got some engines, no nets, and some lights. We can't really. Well, we can afford a skimmer for shallow. Let's get a new. Let's get a new. Uh, let's get a new rod so we can fish all them fish. Install, baby. <gasps> it's now 8 p.m. It's dark out. Thank you. Whoa, what is going on in the background? Is that the Aurora Borealis back there? We're not supposed to go out at night, but I'm kind of curious. Oh, it sure is foggy. Oh, yeah, it sure is foggy out here. Do I got my light on? I got my light on. Let's do some night fishing, shall we? Ooh. Is that a little squid? Give me a little squid. Ooh, arrow squid. I'll take that. Heck yeah. Don't fish at night. <laughs> what are they thinking? Of course I'm fishing at night. What's the worst that could happen? I hear bubbling. I hear bubbling. I've got a bad feeling about this suddenly. Oh, we don't like it. You can't see very far ahead of you. Ooh. I'm not a big fan of the water in general. Oh, man, are we going to see some weird stuff in the water? Oh, I'm hearing something out here. Where are all the fish? I can't see them, so, I mean, they could be anywhere. Fish, fish, fish. Oh, fish, fish. 
fish. What's this? Like a, a stingray? Are we fishing for stingrays? It just yeah, it's exactly what it is. Oh, it's huge. Good lord. That's gonna take up like the entire thing. I gotta re I gotta I gotta, I gotta reorganize to make this work more efficiently. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit more than one in here regardless. I see a sparkly thing. Oh, I shouldn't just go exploring in the fog, right? <laughs> but we're going to do it anyways. What else do I have? I've got lights. I've got a foghorn. Oh! Oh, is that the town? I mean, the lighthouse kind of is a, just showing me where I need to go, but was that a horn? From the town, or the, maybe it was the horn of maybe the lighthouses. Do lighthouses have horns on them? That makes sense in case you can't see the huge, super duper bright light. I guess. All right. What, what was I doing? Let's go see what this sparkly thing is. There's clearly a sparkly thing over here. Oh, oh, my eyeball up there is starting to shake a little bit. Or it did. What is this? Uh, something. Let's head back to town. I I don't feel so. Oh my light! Oh my light went out! Oh no! Light, light, light! Oh gosh, oh yep, yeah. okay, screw that other town, we'll go here. This town's closer, I don't know what's here, but this is where we're going. Trader? You enter a bright little shop, it's packed with antiques and the shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. Baubles? Bins. The old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello, is that? Oh no, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? I do not. I have fish. Sorry. <laughs> I got nothing. Dock worker? How's the day treating you? Uh, it's like, what's it like working on a docks? I'm not going to answer your question. I'm sorry, I'm not going to answer your question. I'm just going to answer it with another question. As changeable as the weather. Ha! <laughs> Most days it's pretty quiet. The pay is not too great, but the work's straightforward. It suits me to a T. It's good to get that fresh sea breeze without actually being on the water. No offense, but you wouldn't get me out on those seas every day. What else can I do for you? I guess I better go. Okay, well, it's daytime, so it's safe to travel. I need to head back and sell my fish. The mayor said, or the fishmonger said, Holy shit, what are those? Those are birds with red eyes. Why? Get out of here. Where's my horn? Arrow squid lost. No, get out of here! No, my fish! They're eating my fish! Unbelievable. I worked hard for those fish. Did they steal all of them? Just one of them, I think. And sell some fish. Oh, I've had I've had a special order come through from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay above normal prices. Okay, tell me about the special order. They ask for one gulf flounder and one gray eel. Just bring them in when you have them. You'll need to have a run that can handle shallow water. I've already had one. Uh, to cancel those, the shipwright should be able to sort that for you. Hey, you know what? I'm way ahead of you, pal. Take my fish. Nice. <laughs> We're doing such a good job. What did I find out there? A message. 21st of August, 1927. We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows of the back of the Great Amaro. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. I wonder if that's what happened to us. In the very, very beginning. It did not penetrate the hull, but it jostled us around. A few atoms fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is of some concern, but we believe all important articles were accounted for. He had been checking over some notes from the boat renaming ceremony. He is paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I have never known him to be so superstitious. Hmm. Okay. Let's go find us a flounder and an eel. I think those eels we can get now, the ones that we were trying to fish before, but we didn't have the appropriate, um, rod for. Oh, eels, I need you. I must have eels. Oh, there's a yellow thingy. How do I... Oh. Yeah, trophy. It's a trophy. Three feet, two inches. Nice. How many do I need? Do I just need one of each? I don't remember. One flounder, one eel. Okay, we got our eel. Let's just get what we need for the time being. Ah, flounders. Have we even seen flounders? Flounders are kind of flat, right? Like these. These could be flounders, if I remember fish correctly. Don't actually do much fishing in real life. That is a freaking golf flounder. Nice. Let's get a couple more. 
Let's get a little extra that we can sell for some of that good good. We full. We are full. Coming in hot, baby. I've got the goods if you got the money. This is a really cool game. It's so simple. And yet there's like an underlying dread. Like there's clearly something going on out in the fog. Like what were those crows with the red eyes? Okay, fishmonger. Have you got any fish for that order? Oh, I got some fish. Just leave whatever you have here. I'll keep an order and blah, blah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Here, take. Wait. Yeah, take my flounder. And you're not getting my trophy eel. You can have the regular eel. The fishmonger ramps up the fish and hands you some money. Good, good. They should be pleased with these. Thanks. I've got another order here. This one's a little bit more curious. They want a couple of squid. Seriously? I just sold you a bunch of squid, dude. And a whole black grouper. Don't see many people fish squid these days. They only feed at night. And well, you know what nights are like around here. Oh <laughs> boy, do I. So what is this research part? Curious looking component. Okay. Is that something we can do here? Research. Oh. Hydraulic run. Oceanic only takes one research part. What else we got here? <gasps> Engines. We can move a little faster. Pots can't do anything. Nets can't do anything. So we can either catch more fish or move faster. I feel like moving faster, considering we need to be back by nightfall, might be the most useful thing. I'm going to research into this engine. For now, I may prove to have been wrong about that but until we find that out that's what i'm going with she sells engines and now i can have this engine <gasps> we'll have space for another engine 200 you say hmm let's install it shall we are we moving faster now oh yeah we moving. oh it's already fine it's almost 6 p.m we should just sleep <laughs> let's just sleep oh, what is this red in the back that is not the aurora Aur borealis Ooh. Who it is? A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stumps some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? I've come to fish. Not that if it's any of your business. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the lighthouse. Great. Nice to meet you. Mayor, what do you got to say for yourself? Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Small pack. <laughs> Small package. The contents don't feel like anything at all. Just wrap mess of shapes. Sure. Not suspi- Not suspicious. The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. Did the bell just ring twice? It's clearly 6 a.m. and not 2. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. My map? I have a map? Oh, I have a map. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there's so many. Conveniently placed five bunches of islands. <laughs> Neat. Twisted Strand, Devil Spine, the Marrow, Stellar Basin, Gale Cliffs. Very cool. Some other islands in between. Heck yeah. This is so cool. Let's just go deliver the ye old package to the little town over here. Oh, ye little town of old, here I am with the gross package for the dock worker. Hmm, what? A delivery? Let's see here. He's just going for it. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh. This will do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. Yes, please, 25 bucks. Heck yeah, that's half the price of a boat, apparently. He hands you some money. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me, because I can't read. You'll certainly get more use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. Can do you? Can you? What? Do you know how lonely it can be? What is this book? Sustainable fishing. I haven't read this yet. Read what? Oh. Interesting. So it's just there, I guess. Let's go see what this little sparkly thing is. I think it's another message in a bottle. I think this would be picked up at night the other night. What are these? Dredge. I don't have the right equipment. The game is called Dredge, and I can't even dredge. What a shame. <gasps> Are those sharks? Ooh. Okay, m yep, that's a message in a bottle. What have we got here? More strange messages. 
the 20th of August, 1927, morning of the second day of the honeymoon and our first day proper. Today we're sailing around the island's inlets in the back of the Great America. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. <laughs> oh, if only you knew what was about to happen the next day. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shadows, so I know he would keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. This is just full of innuendo. <laughs> he renamed the boat last night, Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain, Ocean's Riches. It was a good name. I don't think you were supposed to keep it. You are probably why the boat crashed. I think he prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket half-hidden, stuffed under a blanket in the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. Oh boy, I have a bad feeling about this suddenly. <laughs> ah, those, are, those are definitely some sharks. I cannot fish them. I do not have whatever it is. I don't have it. Well, before we go and sleep till night, let's fill up our hold of fish. This a floating buoy. It serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Its dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. Oh, interesting. So when it's gloomy and night and foggy, and I'm starting to freak out a little bit, I can find a little bit of respite by the buoys. Okay, we full. And it's getting dark. Oh, crap. Oh, the time just gets away from us so quickly. I mean, we need to be out at night to catch some of the night fish that we need, but I need to sell what I got first. I don't have room. The days just go by so quickly. Especially when you're fishing. We gotta go see what that is at some point. <laughs> it's clearly something over there that we can go investigate. I'm sure it's part of the story or something. Fishmonger, take my fish quick. I gotta go do some night fishing. Oh, the mayor is walking quickly towards you. Seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. Oh, well, thank you, Mayor. I'm happy too. Okay, dry dock. What is this? This is the dry dog. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're taking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, even superior hulls. We need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects, lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. How, how do I get these things? Plenty of decent materials around the coast form various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored, so don't worry if we only have half of what we need. Oh gosh, upgrades too! Light space, modify cargo space to hold lights, engine space, net, wow, okay. New hull, ooh, new cargo, wow, so much, <laughs> it's amazing, fishmonger. I found this book out back, could be useful to you. Fishmonger reaches under the counter and hands you a damp mattered book. A few shimmering fish scales are stuck to the cover. Okay, I'm, get, I'm getting some Lovecraftian vibes from this game it makes me think of deep ones old gods elder gods type of a thing i don't know i could be wrong but that's what it feels like let's go fishing okay we need two squid and one grouper i ain't seen no groupers but i know where the squid we're here but we fish the hell out of them dang it something sparkly what's this sparkly what is this oh the lighthouse towers above waves crash endlessly against the perilous rocks below all creatures, human or otherwise would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet you ponder the intrinsic power of this structure a vast column of stone, shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin, its purpose exhausted? The lighthouse towers above. Whoa. They really take their lighthouse seriously, don't they? Oop, oop, oop. Fish, fish, fish. Is this what I need? Are these groupers? That's a black grouper if I've ever seen one. Okay, I'm not going to spend too much time. I need to find squid. I want to make sure that we do what we need to do because... Yeah, it's spooky at night and I think we kind of... Oh, what is that? A little another boat? Is it a ghost boat? I think that might be a ghost boat. Why do I feel like that's a ghost boat? I have no reason to believe that, but I think it might be. Where are, the, are these squid? I think these are the squid. Squid, squid, squid. Let's get these and get back before we go insane. Okay. 
oh, oh, my eyeball. I think my eyeball starts freaking out up there. We starting to get a little too scared or crazy. We might be losing our daggum mind. I got what y'all needed. Hope you're happy. Almost, oh, what was that? Oh, I hope they're happy. I almost went insane for this. Have you got any fish? I do. Here, just freaking take them, my dude. Bushmunker wraps up the fish and hands you some money. I didn't think you had it in you. Night fishing is a tall order. Been meaning to talk to you about a new business venture I've been considering. Crab pots? Ooh. I've got one here for you. In fact, it's a bit banged up, but you could get it fixed at the shipwright. Oh, a crab pot. Oh, neat. Should be pretty straightforward. Just drop it out at sea anywhere, then come back after a day or two and check on it. I've got a customer after a fiddler crab and a common crab. Both species can be found around here. Some fish prefer deeper water while others stick to the shallows. If you're looking for something specific, it's important to know what depth you're working with. A hundred dollars for a crab pot, but only fifty dollars debt for my boat. That doesn't seem right. All right, cool. We can fish for crabs. Let's go do some crabbing. How do I crab? How do I get crabs? Crab pot. Okay. Oh. And blink. Hey! Little crab pot deployed in three feet of water. <laughs> that should be good. Crabs are like in shallow water, right? That makes sense. All right. While we're waiting for the crabs to come, I guess we should just go fishing. Sustainable fishing, reading complete. We finished reading our book. Nice, oh, 10% chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish. Oh, so it adds like passive skills type stuff. That's cool. Rods, reels, and rigs, let's start reading that. I need all the help I can get. We have so much fish. We have so much fish. Fishmonger's gonna be so happy. Make that money. $149.51, my god, I'm rich, I'm rolling in it. All right, let's sleep and then go check our crab pots in the morning, shall we? Crab pot, crab pot, give me some crabs. Hey, we got a little crab, a common crab. That's something that I needed, I think. Oh, uncommon crab, we just need a fiddler crab. All right, well, let's not waste the day. We'll go do some more fishing and come back and wait till tomorrow. Maybe we'll have a fiddler crab in our hold. Ooh, grotesque mackerel, what? Ooh, corrupted scales and bulbous eyes like nothing you've seen before. <laughs> what is this? What is it? Oh my, is that from because of the oil spills? Is that because of pollution? Is that because we're killing the earth? Oh, uh, do you have any crowns for that order? I do have one. Here you go. Whoa, that's a big crab. Fiddler crab be big. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Come back when you got everything. Can you tell me about... Yes, can you hand... You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. Oh, now this is a sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm, I wonder... He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach, and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales? What the heck? He slices the fish open from its stomach. He pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it out on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. What? I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing, and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's on the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so uh, I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find. Sure! Handkerchief. Once beautiful handkerchief drawn from the insides of a grotesque fish patterned with del delicate crimson thread. Interesting. Take my fish! Very interesting. Um, don't know what it means. <gasps> a man is looking at you through your cabin window. You creeper! His face is mostly in shadow. I know what you took to the fishmonger, and I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I'll need to inspect it, but not here. Hmm. Meet me on Blackstone Isle, head out of the bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. Oh, really? 
quite presumptuous of you that I would be anywhere interested in what you have to say. Let's go hear what he has to say. Head south. Oh, is that this over here? Is that this place that we've been seeing? Little island over here with a house. I see some sort of eccentric millionaire. Talk, talk, talk. Let us talk and let us talk. Blackstone Isle. Ruined mansion. Ooh. The man is standing in a doorway watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came, good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector of many things, art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curios that occupy the periphery of desire. Ooh. And you have something for me. Okay, sure, just take the handkerchief. I found this, it's mine. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to flickering light and studies it. Hmm. These patterns are unmistakable even after all this time. This handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance, as you can imagine. Retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with the equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks in dark. Finally, we can live up to the title of the game. Find me these lost relics and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. Oh. What do you mean by that? You need not give up your fishing career. I merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? I accept. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. Ooh. He's tinkering with my boat. The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, a music box, and a key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences, anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Oh, interesting. Very, very interesting. Well, guys, I'm going to end the video here. I really, really dig this game. It's charming. I love the art style. I love the simplicity of it. But the fact that there's also some underlying mystery, and I really want to find out what is going on here. I suspect Elder Gods or Lovecraftian. Let me know what you guys' theories are. Leave them in the comments. Leave a like as well if you enjoyed this video. And let me know if you guys want to see more of this game, because I want to play more of this game. If you're new to the channel and you've watched this entire video and you also enjoyed, drop that lure onto the subscribe button and subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been awesome. Let's play again soon and I'll see you in the next video.